On OSU's campus, there's a lot of talented horticulturists maintaining the grounds through landscape services. Joining us today is John Stevens, one of those talented horticulturists. And John, you've got a fun little project for us to do in our garden. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're making? Yes, today, we're, Casey, we're going to make a, a succulent garden okay. out of wine bottles. A small succulent small garden. Succulent. Yeah, okay, all yes. right. What do we do? Well, first off, Casey, when you're building a garden, you need to decide how you want to display it. Mm -hmm. Do you want it to just be a, a single bottle displayed? Okay. Do you want it to, to be on a wine rack? Or do you want to just build your own display? Okay. And that determines how many bottles you need to drink exactly. first, right? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so we got that taken care of. What, how do we turn this into this? Well, first off, we, we need to cut the bottle. And this is this is probably the hardest part of the of the process okay. is cutting the bottle because you have to keep the glass cool as you're cutting it. Okay. And what I've ran into problems you you see articles online, you um, they they'll tell you to score the bottle, to maybe use like um, fingernail polish and burn burn mm -hmm. the bottle. But I've I've ran problems with that because you can't make a clean cut. Okay. So today we're going to use a wet saw that cuts tile and brick, and it will it has a diamond blade in it and will also cut glass okay. and we'll have the nice smooth clean cut. That so we're that'll keep it cool as it's cut through yes, the process. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so once we've got, uh, do you have to take the labels off of it uh, or anything? No, that's just personal preference. Okay. Um, myself, I leave them on there because I think they tell a story and sure. this is going to add to the charm of the garden too. Okay. So. All right, so once we've got our bottle cut, what is the next step that we need to do? Well, once we have our, our bottle cut, Casey, we need to start planting it. Mm -hmm. And first off, we'll add... Uh, a, the soil we'll use is actually a succulent cactus soil mix, okay. um, which the difference between it and, and other soils, it just doesn't have the water holding capabilities that other soils do. It's, it drains, has more sand, more perlite in it. Okay. All right. And succulents are really well made for these small containers because they don't need a lot of moisture, right? That's correct. And if you should happen, you know, when we talk about watering, if you should happen to over water this bottle, just simply just tip it over and the water will oh, drain smart. out. So, <laughs> so do you feel that completely full or about half? Uh, about two thirds full. Okay. And then today we are going to plant my favorite succulent, which is called a lifesaver plant. Oh. It puts off a very uh, unique bloom. It kind of reminds you of a lifesaver candy. Hence the name. Hence the name, correct. And I like to use the smaller succulents. Um, you can find them at the big box stores. They sell the smaller varieties. and. They're easier to manipulate in the small wine bottle. And they're bottle. cheaper too, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've got them planted, you're going to backfill a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to backfill a little bit more. You want it to just have just a little lip at the top. In case you can find bottles, they don't have to be wine bottles. You can use just soda pop bottles. And, and if you go to antique stores, they have a lot of wine racks, surprisingly, and mm -hmm. colored bottles that can be used and children would enjoy. And once we get to this point right here, Casey, we need to add a, kind of a mulch layer. Okay. And we're going to use, I like to use aquarium gravel. It seems to work very well in, in the bottle, bottles. It holds the soil, keeps it from just flying all over mm -hmm. your patio or wherever you display it. And when you have to water, it keeps, it keeps all the soil in. And that aquarium gravel comes in a lot of different colors, so you could really probably get a little funky with it does. this you can, if you wanted to. You can make it look really neat if you want to, and children would love that too. Mm -hmm. Just like mulch, that definitely kind of gives it a, a finished look to it, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And if you really want to get fancy, like we are today, <laughs> we are going to add some Oklahoma rose rock. And Casey, I do not recommend watering uh, succulents a lot, mm -hmm. just maybe in this situation, maybe twice a month. Okay. I usually put just an ice cube in the bottle and just let it melt. That seems oh, okay. to do well. Do maybe do that twice a month. So yeah. it's it's heavy, so you can put this out on your patio and it, not worry about blowing away in your Oklahoma winds and stuff, and it would do well in the full sun. And exactly. Occasional watering. And we are finished. Now, John, you have this on a used wine rack, is that correct? Yes, that is a used wine rack, and this is just some old wood that we had lying around the barn. And That's a beautiful base, but if somebody was to do a, a single, what, uh, did you make these wood? Well, actually, stands? these are, you can buy these at Lowe's 
in long sticks. They're actually for metal roofs uh -huh. on, on homes and barns. And I just cut them to length and they seem to fit. The bottle seems uh -huh. to nest perfectly inside the grooves. They're made to go behind the corrugated metal. Yes, exactly. Oh, very nice. That's mm -hmm. clever. And of course you painted it, I assume. And mm -hmm. Well, John, this is a beautiful display and a lovely addition to any patio garden. Thank you for sharing with Thanks us. Thanks for having me, Casey. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.